and welcome to the July 26th edition of the Ooh. Weekly Mortal Comic Poll. Nice We're to be back. back a, a week away, man. You get some good comics last week? Hot comics. Jimmy Bastards number two. Woo, of course. Some Garth Ennis. Come on. Well, we didn't we didn't record one for you guys. We're not going to put it out. But if you checked out our IG, Mortal Podcast, you could have saw what we had. Because um, I was in sunny California. But enough of that. Let's get right on to it. July 26th, Paul. Oh, man. Here we go. Hot cover, too. I really, I really do like this cover. This is a good one. We got Secret Empire number seven, guys. Yeah. Someone about to get sh- Woo! If, if if you don't know on that cover for you guys to check that oh you think that's spider-man well me knowing about spider-man a little bit that's not that's miles morales Your little boy. spoiler right there you guys black widow she's about to snipe someone Ooh, captain america oh, in the mix up, yeah i read six like was that, really good you like that shield too bro a little bit different Ooh, tell you what cover tells a thousand words on the book bro just to let you know so that's that's Secret she Empire Seven picked it up as well. She's shooting someone, bro. Guarantee she's know, shooting if someone. You, if you know the storyline, you know who she's going for. She's been talking about. It. She's been teasing ah. it for like three week or three four issues, bro. It's, yeah. it's, it's her solution. It is. To, to take care but of the captain problem. Is that the real solution? <laughs> Got to read it to find out. And that's Secret Empire Number Seven. Next <laughs> favorite of mine, right here. We have. Issue 34, Deadpool. Speaking of which, Secret Empire, still more crossover, still more tie ins going in with plenty of books out there right now. And that's 34, Deadpool. I haven't been catching up. I'm about four or five books behind, but we'll see. When, once I get to it, we'll be all right. Yeah, like last week, Deadpool, the uh, Deadpool Kills the Universe 2 came out. I yep. passed. I got I was, it. You know, I got it. <laughs> you loved Deadpool. I, lo- I enjoy Deadpool. Certain ones I'll read, but Kills Universe again. I thought again, it's kinda weak, again. But maybe I'll get the trade because it was a little bit intriguing. But I don't know. But, There's nothing special about them. I, I reader copies, bro. I got you. What do you got? Now we got Spawn two seventy six. All right, we, this is the story arc that starts here. The Dark Horror. All right. Ooh. Bro, this, the spawn. I'm loving the spawn. Like, ever since I got back in the 240s, I've been just loving this run. Yeah. Just loving it. Like, the Savage Dragon crossovers and yep. this. I like the cover. Yeah, I want, I want everyone to go out here and buy this. Read Spawn. Read Spawn. There. Making first appearance <laughs> Ooh, on the pole. Not a number one. This Not is a number, number one, four. It's the first appearance on the Mortal Pole. I had to grab it. A uh, buddy of of the podcast, Albra, he's been letting me read the first three, so I had to pick up number four. This book is called Plastic. This is issue four from Image. Not not to be confused with Plastic Man. No, just straight plastic. <laughs> awesome fucking book. That's all I'm gonna say. Is it for mature readers? Very mature readers. All right. <laughs> it all I have to say is this guy's crazy. And his girlfriend's a blow-up doll. You gotta read the rest. Sounds wild. Wild. Number four. We're going back to Outcast. Issue 29, Unwelcome. That's his dad. Still going on. Oh, strong. I love this book. Yeah. It gets better as it goes on. Like Ooh. I think I, everyone should be reading this, too. I don't know when. It's, I thought it was the summer last year. I don't know if. Season two's coming on. I don't know. I need to look into that, actually. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about it. I didn't even watch the first season, though. You said it was good, right? Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. It was really good. But I'm just keep. I'm going to keep buying this. I Ever since issue one, I've been on board. Yeah. I mean, ever since. I, I fell off probably, uh, I think my last issue was like 17, 18. So I'm not that far behind. No. But Great read. I didn't, I didn't have one yet this week. So I had to pick this up. I mean, let's see. A number one. We got it. A is that a independent? Independent? Is that a variant cover, too? Or is it just and, a, and a variant cover. That's correct. This is from Boom Studios making its appearance on, on, on the poll. This is Sabin's Go Go Power Rangers variant cover. I was kind of hesitant at first, all right? <laughs> Sick fidget, bro. <laughs> I was kind of... 
kind of hesitant at first. Do you want to know why? <laughs> Who is that? It's the Red Ranger. Oh, Red Ranger is such a dick. I do not like the Red Ranger. <laughs> but. What do you want the Red Ranger? Oh, he's such a dick. Red Ranger's, I hate him. I dislike Tommy's way better. Green Did Ranger, White Ranger. Yet? Yes. What do you think of the movie? It's solid. He's still a dick. How about his appearance? The... Woo! Well, no spoilers, spoilers here. But he makes the appearance in the book. <laughs> yes, he does. In the movie. Maybe? Yeah, it was, it's good. It's good. Angel Grove High School. Forgot about that. But that's Boom Studios variant. Go, go, Power Rangers. So check it out. I just swallow the pride on the fucking, on uh, the Red Ranger, though. You always do swallow. Uh, that's so more going, like your mom. So we're going to image. All right. We're cooking the bacon here, all right? Issue two, shirtless bear Ooh, fighter. sizzling. It's hot. Cooking. So, issue one was phenomenal, all right? Fact. It was hilarious, all right? And I don't wanna, uh, can't wait to read it again. You want more of shirtless bear fighter? Oh, 100%. There's a five issue, I think, run. Okay. But I'm all in. Nice. I went to Midtown. I posted on the IG. Yep. On the Mortal Podcast. Yeah, you get the signed copy as well. Yep. That's yeah. So I reckon all I reckon, in. If you want some good laughs, no, this, there's this, nothing this wrong with a good laugh. To. And now it's been, it's been two weeks, and I know you all like this. We have making its first appearance on the poll, Steve Rogers, Captain America. But that's not why. That's not why I got. We're not it. huge Captain America fans here. He's, he's, he's a, a strong he character, but he gets it done. We have issue 19, but it's a variant. Woo! And this goes back to what we had two weeks ago with the Deadpool, and that's the Jim Lee variant cover. Gambit. Gif. Take it away. I know you're a Gambit fan. I know. I saw your Woo! eyes light up when you saw this. Your eyes lit up. Oh, Gambit. Uh, it takes me back. The Uncanny X Men 266. All right. First appearance of Gambit. All right. That's where it takes you back to. All right. <laughs> all right. Me being in childhood, all right, because that's because that's what the variants from, from the trading cards. Yeah, uh, everyone's collecting the trading cards. You're thinking, oh, he's gonna be worth so many dollars. Everyone's bro, everyone's hyped. <laughs> like everything in the '90s. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they're not worth really anything, but takes you back. TV show, Cajun, Great Spice, <laughs> Louisiana. Yeah, bro, Gambit's fucking solid character. And of Jim Lee, Jim Lee does him does him right, I feel like. And also, last week was Astonishing X Men number one with Gambit's in it. Yeah, he's awesome in that. I recommend also people to go back and get that if you haven't got that. And he's he's rolling with Phantom Max. And if you notice, it's very rare that you get a Gambit cover where you don't see any cards. He's using his staff, bro. He's not, he's not he's not throwing cards. Oh. Nice little Jim Lee variant okay. cover. So we're going to. The first and only four ninety nine in book today. We're going to the first alley. All Star Batman four ninety nine. Bro, all Ooh. these All Star Batman's like it's got the thick covers, so the thing you can yeah. get a dollar. Snyder's on it, like. Comic not... sketch gotta get their money. <laughs> what I've been reading with this book, it should be a two ninety nine book. All right? Ooh, <laughs> a two ninety nine, not even a three. No. Wow, it's a good. It's good read, but Snyder, I feel like. Well, we talked about that. They're supposed to be discontinuing that to start whatever. I can see why they're discontinuing it. Burn, do you see? Burn, where you at? It's not a bad story with uh, Alfred. You know, it's worth a read. I definitely recommend it. You're hyping up the Alfred story arc in this? Yes. Ah. But that's, you know, that's that's why it should be a $2.99 book. All right. And we also got issue 22 of Suicide Squad. I like the cover on that one. I do like it. Just the colors and everything. Harley Quinn. Harley's always on the covers. Everyone loves Harley Quinn, right? Do you guys love Harley Quinn? I don't. I'll say it right now. I'll say it right now. Do you like Harley Quinn? She's all right. A little pudding for you? Uh, <laughs> see, that's where we draw the line. <laughs> That's where we're going to draw the line. No pudding for me. And, and then you told me you picked up a trade. Yeah. Well, we'll go back off this. Who's this on? was a little while ago, about two weeks ago. We had the uh, Amazon Prime deals. And on there, they had for $6 so with Prime steel. delivery. Steel. They practically gave it to me. Was uh, 
volume one of the trade of saga we've had saga on here before um, we showed you issue one and a couple others throughout the weeks so this is the trade i haven't read it at all picked this up uh read it on my trip and yeah i like it uh will i keep reading yes i will good Great. book it's, the story is like awesome story is incredible good. um Fiona Staples with the art. I love the art. The art yeah, is great. Everything's killer about that book. Different different storyline, too. I really like it. We bring that because we're 45. 45. So, so you had read what? One through six? One through there? six. If you read one through six, then 45, bro. I'm only 39 behind. That's not bad. Look, when I first read Preacher, all 66 issues were out. And I just blew yeah, them. Preacher's a little different, though. Preacher was out before, like, finished before, like, anyone yes. knew about Preacher. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, but like, well, is, is that it? Um, I think. No, no, I think we have one more. Are we missing That's, something? Oh, no, I see it right there. It's the hot, hot pick, pick of the week. week. All right, guys, you guys are in for a treat. All right. I'm you ready. see, the, you see, everyone. Well, six thousand people in the Infinity's Infinity War trailer. All right. Give or take. But we're showing. We'll get to that. Ooh, this will connect. So you're looking at Iron Man 55. You're like, Iron Man 55, that's pretty hot. You know, it's, a, it's an old issue, yeah. in February 1973. Correct. It's pretty solid. You know, what if I told you there was like five or six first appearances in this book? I don't believe it. <laughs> Any hot ones? Let's see. Okay, he needs the sheet for it. I just don't want to make sure I forget anyone. Craig Kronos. And... Kronos. All right. All right, whatever. That's one. The Blood Brothers. Tag team will go to. You think it's kind of weak, you know, stretching for some first appearances. Why is this book the hot pick of the week? Yeah. And then Star Fox. Ooh. It's All right. Little, it's All right. We got to start getting stronger. Now, I'm gonna, this next, then you got Mentor. All right. Okay. It's stronger-ish. Well, we're getting the upside. And you're thinking, guys, what's going on with this book? Why are we why are we listening about Iron Man fifty five first appearances? You name four names off, and I don't care about any of them. No, what if I tell you it's the first appearance of Drax the Destroyer? Ooh, Drax Guardians, that's hot. <laughs> Ooh, is that your boy? But wait, there's more. Ooh, there's is there one more name? <laughs> the the big dog in the book. All right, you okay? The Marvel Cinematic Universe has been going on for ten years now. Ten years, all linking to one movie. Coming out next year in May. May 5th, 6th, whatever. Doesn't Ish. matter. You're looking at Thanos. It's the first appearance of Thanos. In that first book. appearance Jim of Jim Starlin. That's hot. So All you got not one, one, not two, not three, not four. Not five. Not five. But six first appearances in Iron Man 55. And that's that's why it's the hot pick of the week. <laughs> If, Hands down. And if you want to see the Blood Brothers, well, how many brothers are there? So <laughs> uh, we we could go, but six or seven. But Thanos first appearance, bro. That's hot. And that 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 wins for most first appearances in a hot pick of the week for sure. Easily, it does. It's like a, a Holly Quinn cover. <laughs> now you had the hot pick of the week. Now I got a little special something. We Woo! got we got a quick little giveaway for all all our viewers out there. What we have here. Is we have from from <laughs> Diamond, we have the image twenty five years little preview book. Now this isn't like the other preview book we had that showcases DC, Marvel, all those. This is more in depth. We have interviews. You have panels. You have previews. Previews mm -hmm. of some of these comics. I mean, very. This is a very good preview book. Well, well worth the money. Um. Which is free for you. Yeah, for you yeah. guys. But it's got a lot, a lot of cool reads in here. Um, some special stuff going on. I Dude, just looking at the art, you know, these little things. Look at that. Ah, so this is Image, Great Walking Dead too. Preview. So this is what we're going to do. Anyone watching, below in the comics, comments. We want you to name your favorite Image book that you're currently reading or you have read. And then what we'll do is we'll go from there, and we'll randomly pick a winner. Unfortunately, this is a U.S. only <laughs> contest. So sorry. Uh, we apologize to everyone outside to the, the U.S. Kingdom. Kingdom. All the continents. We apologize. But Do you have a favorite image title that you're reading? 
Yes, I do. And that would be that would be the regression right now. Regression. I mean, yeah, regression from Cullen Bunn. That's my favorite right now. It's, it's what about you? It's fun, like <laughs> It's kind of kind of whack because it's the biggest title, but I right. love Spawn and Saga's really good too. And then shirtless, but there's just so <laughs> you gotta pick one, bro. You gotta pick one. He's going with Spawn. <sighs> yeah, I'm going with because Sp- so, Re- Reborn was awesome. Oh. Yeah. All right, Spawn yeah. it is. Spawn. There we go. So <laughs> that's my comment. Make sure to comment below on your favorite Image comic, and we will send this out to you if you live in the U.S. because it costs too much money. To send you people shit outside the U.S. We got lucky last time. Sorry about that. So, that's it. Don't forget, we picked all this up at our local brick and mortar, Liberty Comics. Liberty City! So, shout out to Liberty. And don't forget, check us out, MortalPodcast.com. I am at Tony underscore Ballgame. I am at Hatfield5. For more information, check out MortalPodcast.com. And don't forget to listen to our weekly podcast. Until next poll, see ya! See ya!